uh, process and helping, you know, uh, and ask it about your latest observations about what happened to process consultation. Also a little bit like the cultural thing, you know, does it, <coughs> did it become a hype or what happened to it? And um, to the concept of helping, because I think uh, in the end of the last round, I think one of the main points is uh, we are always making interventions, but if we make interventions, they have to be helpful. And I think that's an interesting concept, and we actually, Ed talked about it for the first time in 2009, the concept of helping, and uh, the book was also coming out then, and uh, I just remember some of the reactions of the managers when we when we present it, or when you present it, uh, the, the concept of helping. So what are your latest observations on process consultation and the concept of helping? Let me approach that briefly by <coughs> saying it, it ends with the next book, which all of you have the front page of, called Humble Inquiry. I think really process consultation helping humble inquiries is basically a series just deepening the concept. Mm -hmm. the, the original idea, you know, was c comes from two sources. It comes from the discovery in 1958, for me, of sitting in a tea group, a training group at Bethel, and finding that there's a staff member there who says our job here is to learn together and then shuts up. <laughs> and we're all sitting there, yeah, okay, give us some help. And he just sits there. And we soon get going. And what we all learned in T groups is how powerful it is not to tell people what to do, but to create a situation where they have to think it through for themselves, and how that particularly aids the learning process. So I had that model in my head, the T Group trainer, when I first started to work in the mid-60s <coughs> with Digital Equipment Corporation. This group of very, uh, high-charged, aggressive engineers, and I discovered that by then I knew all about how good groups should work, and I discovered that this operations committee that I was invited to sit in, the top group of digital, was a group dynamics disaster. That's the only way you could describe it. <laughs> Terrible interrupting, shouting, no decision-making, uh, Ken Olson, the, the head of it, often leaving the table and sitting in the corner and uh, playing with something while sort of listening to what else was going on. <laughs> so my, my first interventions being a, a, a trained, I wasn't really trained, I guess I, I read a little bit about consulting uh, and knowing all about good groups. I tried very hard to take that operations committee and make it into a more effective group by pointing out, for example, that if someone has halfway through an idea and someone interrupts him, that uh, that interruption destroys the idea. To which they said, you're right, thank you, we'll try to do better. And, of course, nothing changed. You know, they, I would point things out, and they would always thank me, and they would keep right on doing what they were always doing. <laughs> so, literally, the, pro the, the concept of process consultation was invented when one day, quite intuitively, I went to the flip chart while all this chaos was going on, and person A started into an idea, so I started to write it down. And 
he was of course interrupted. But at this moment, and this is the moment of invention, I turned to the person A and said, do you want to finish that idea? I didn't get all of it down. And lo and behold, the group stops and waits for me to write the rest of it down. And so pretty soon somebody else is interrupted and I start to write it down and the group listens or shuts up while I'm writing it down. Now, what was the difference in my two styles of consulting? In one case, saying interruption is bad, you're losing the ideas. In the second case, saying I didn't get the whole idea. I want to write it all down. That, that's the moment where I could see that in model A, don't interrupt, I was using some outside criterion of how a group should act. I was being the professional consultant recommending <coughs> groups like this should have a low rate of interruption so that they can have better communication didn't work. Model B, I'm focusing on the idea and the idea is what they are working on. They're not trying to be a good group. They're trying to solve serious big problems. And the ideas are the basis of solving these problems. So when I shifted into their terrain, <coughs> idea production, they could see how my writing things down was helpful to what they wanted to do. That's the whole essence of it. <coughs>